So I received a, a card from this company called Neapay uh, in here, Pakistan, which is a branchless bank. And they have this card, which is powered by Visa. Of course, this one has a number on it. So I'm hiding the number for obvious reasons. The main thing is that they're in app UI, which I'm gonna show you as well and demonstrate as well. The registration process was very smooth and the printing process and the delivery process was very smooth as well. Like uh, after registering, it just uh, uh, on the second day, it just asked me for my details and I put them there right away. And after like, uh, you can say four or five days, I just received my card, uh, which is like pretty good. It looks like a normal card and works really well. And they give you a physical card as well as a virtual uh, card. Of course, this is a debit card, not a credit card. So these, uh, so they provide you with these instructions as well. And of course there are some um, security concerns as well. As I mentioned before, not to disclose your card number and the expiry date and the CVC number. Uh, so uh, never do that. Yeah, these are the network logos. This one is in Urdu as well in the English. For those who want to read it in Urdu, they can read it in Urdu and for those who want to uh, read it in English, they can as well. I'm going to put it uh, real quick right here and for Urdu as well and read it uh, as well. Here you go. This card supports uh, NFC, which means like a contactless payment method. So how does a contactless payment method work? Like uh, I'm gonna uh, explain the detail as well. Uh, like I did explain in my previous video, how does uh, contactless payment method work and the uh, NFC and RFID and everything you needed to know, but I'm gonna explain it here real quick as well. And in case you want to learn the whole thing, uh, I'm gonna, I'll link the video in the description and somewhere in the cards as well for you so basically uh, what do you do is for example of course this is just a normal block you want to make a payment you just hold your card in front of the machine for a couple of seconds and then uh, your payment is done because it is real quick that's why nfc is uh, like adopted everywhere in the world so let's get into the theory of how rfid works and what is nfc and uh, i'm going to tell you about the different frequencies as well in case you were wondering so what is rfid rfid stands for radio frequency identification and uh, it comes with a lot of like uh, frequency ranges depending upon the application so rfid comes with uh, some frequencies like 125 kilohertz range and 13.56 uh, uh, megahertz range which is nfc which uh, we use in like the contactless payment methods and other applications as well for security purposes as well you might have seen that in the metro stations as well uh, where you just hold your card and you're in and then you go uh, travel uh, wherever you want to go any metro station in the world i believe and then comes the frequency of 438 to 928 megahertz uh, these frequencies and then uh, goes to the 2.4 gigahertz to 6 gigahertz uh, range which is the microwave range and where the um, mostly the Wi-Fi communication takes place like 2.4 gigahertz we use it for our Wi-Fi uh, 5 gigahertz and the new band is like uh, uh, in the Wi-Fi AX like the Wi-Fi 6E which is the 6 gigahertz band and we use it for Wi-Fi of course uh, the, as the frequency increases the bandwidth increases as uh, and the bandwidth increases the speed increases so it is good but the, uh, the downside is the range gets shorter and shorter because of the shorter wavelength comes the 3 gigahertz and 10.5 gigahertz this is the ultra wide band uh, also known as UVB it has its own application but for our purposes right now we use um, NFC which we use for our contactless payment method. Let's take a quick recap of how RFID or NFC works. Basically NFC is the uh, extension of RFID. So what is NFC? Basically NFC operates at the frequency of 13.5 megahertz and it operates on this uh, standard because it's about money, financials and of course uh, we have to use some standards in order to protect our money in the, like we don't want anyone like going around and uh, taking our money from us, of course, uh, like uh, however, 
whatever the reason may be so uh, the payment limit is 30 40 and 50 dollars or what how whatever the range may be uh, depends upon the country the company that's issuing the card uh, so yeah so let's get into the working of uh, the RFID or NFC whatever you want to call it so uh, the reader uh, basically there are two components the reader and the tag so the reader basically uh, has its own magnetic field connected to uh, a coil uh, with it basically pushes a sinusoidal voltage with its uh, passive components and this sinusoid creates a magnetic field which induces a sinusoidal voltage uh, over here in the tag the tag is basically connected to a bipolar junction transistor or BJT, whatever you want to call it uh, both are fine and it is connected to a coil basically whenever the tag comes into the range of this uh, RFID readers magnetic field it induces a sinusoidal voltage and this activates the RFID tag which is basically a passive tag when the tag is on the tag IC is on it uh, it is connected to a BJT and that BJT depending upon the information it wants to send uh, to the reader uh, it shorts the coil according to that ones and zeros and this is how they communicate to each other so enough of the theory let me show you the UI let's see like you do have a lot of controls in it and you can pay uh, like a quick pay pay contact basically this app is in beta phase so uh, it has a it might be like they might be adding a lot of functionalities afterwards and there's a chat option where you could chat with your friends and there's a card option where you could uh, basically freeze your card reveal your card and spending control transaction limits and daily limits and this is the virtual card as i said they issue you a both a visa virtual card and a visa physical card this uh, this uh, this card is basically powered by visa uh, in case i forgot to mention to you so uh, let me show you the uh, the controls uh, it has uh, of course this is hidden uh, it is my card and uh, of course you you're not supposed to disclose this information as it's about financials so you have a lot of controls here so you could reveal your card number which i'm go i'm not gonna do over here and you could freeze your card uh in uh for whatever reason for security reasons uh, as i suggested in my previous video to keep your card frozen whenever you don't need it so when you need it you just unfreeze it so you could turn uh, toggle the uh, international transactions uh, online payments spending control in case you are not good with money and you could change your pin and card transactions and pin and atm withdrawals uh, if you're like atm withdrawals if uh, in case your card gets stolen or in case you want to take an extra security measure and tap and pay so what is tap and pay basically the nfc functionality i talked about so uh, you could toggle that on and off in case you you're wondering that you might get like someone might steal your money <laughs> for whatever reason like uh, the as i said nfc is very fast for whatever reason you want to turn on and off uh, the tap and pay the nfc functionality uh, the contactless payment method you could uh, turn it on and off and this is the card limit and daily tra online transaction limit daily pos limit pos is point of sales uh, for like uh, whatever you want to purchase and whatever you want to do and that's pretty much it i think so yeah i try to make it as simple as possible and help you understand and in case you want to know more about rfid and nfc and uh, everything you need you want to know about rfid uh, i made a video a couple of months back uh, about sada pay uh, which is also a branches bank and they have they issue a mastercard and i hope you like this video if so then like share and subscribe and click on the notification bell and i guess i'll see you in the next one Peace.